what are the go-to things that a knitter should have in their knitting bag? In Literary Knits by Nicole Lohr, she has a section where she talks about what she has in her knitting bag. If you want to hear more about my book review in general, go ahead and follow this link and watch that review. But today, we're going to talk about what is in a knitter's knitting bag. In my knitting bag, I have items that I use for projects all the time, things that if I did need them, I wouldn't want to be without that are small enough to carry around, and also things that I would need in order to teach lessons. They do a lot of that. So let's take a quick look at the items that are in my bag. The first thing I have is a little container full of stitch markers and a needle. So these stitch markers, I have a couple of different varieties. I have locking ones that are bigger and locking ones that are smaller and also some that are a little bit squishier and round. And then I have one in here that is tiny and doesn't open or close. I love stitch markers and I'll have another video that talks about them some more, uh, but I definitely like to have a lot of stitch markers around. I also keep a tapestry needle in my with my stitch markers so that I can use that to weave in ends. And I did get one that's a little bit sharper. I typically use blunt ones, but I have them both in here in my little container. The second one I have is actually in the same container, and I think originally stitch markers came in this one as well. But this is my needle stoppers container. It also has a little bit of thread and this tiny safety pin, not safety pin, clothes pin that I could use for things, but the majority and also another tapestry needle in there. Those seem to disappear, so I try to keep them wherever I can and uh, an actual sewing sewing needle, sharp sewing needle, which the thread I have is in there for it. So here are some of the needle stoppers that I have. I have these little pointed ones that you can put a needle inside of. I bought these and I've never really liked or used them much. They tend to fall off too easily for me. I have another version of them and these ones are kind of cool. They go inside each other. Um, and I have used these when I've been doing socks or other very small things on double pointed needles. I've put them at the end while I'm knitting to keep stitches from coming off the end. I also have one of these foam ones that you can slide onto your needle. I like them but I, I don't like that you have to have the right size for your needle. They won't work with whatever project you happen to have, only for the ones that this fits on. And then I have these coils. I really like these coils. They can work on any size needle. You just wrap them around the needle, and I will show demos and talk about some of these more later, but that is what is in my needle stopper container. I also have yarn needles. So these are a little bit pointy, uh, but they have really big eyes, bigger than the tapestry needles. So they're easier for putting thread, threading the yarn through for your project. Next, I have a retractable measuring tape. This is very useful. I use it all the time to keep track of where I am in my project and how much further I need to go and also to measure all of my gauge swatches. Next, I have a little ball of yarn. Uh, this is more so for teaching purposes so that wherever I am, if I need to teach a lesson, I can just pull this out and use it to demo a particular technique or teach someone how to knit from the beginning. I also have a small bit of yarn. I actually used this to make the mouth on my bunny, Miffy, back there. Um, and I had some left over, but it was a useful thing. So I decided it doesn't take up much space and I'm gonna just keep it in my bag for now. I also have a stitch counter. 
the little ends turn. You can rotate it to keep track of how many stitches or rows. They're more likely used for rows. Next I have a package of double pointed needles. This is a package that, well, I guess I could look. My 10 and a half, US 10 and a half needles came in here but I keep a wide variety. So I have just a bunch of double pointed needles in my bag. I also have a second little bag of tiny double pointed needles because I've been doing a lot of socks lately. It also has this little tool in it. I honestly don't know what it's for. Does anyone know? Tell me in the comments below. I have also a yarn gauge. So I can check any of my needle sizes that I need to and use this ruler for taking gauge measurements. I also have a pair of circular needles. So this is a size eight needle. This is a size that I've been using for a lot of projects I've been designing lately. So I have them in my bag in case I want to work on them when I'm out and about. I also have a pair of scissors. I like these ones because they have a cover, so it, and they're not actually that sharp. They're, uh, they cut very well, they're sharp that way, but they're not sharp pointed at the end. But they have a cover, so it keeps all my yarn protected uh, when I'm working on my projects. The next thing I have in my bag is a stitch holder. So this is like a giant safety pin that you can put stitches from a project on if you're not working on part of it, or I've put like a scarf or something on here if I wanted to use my needles for something else. I also have a crochet hook in my knitting bag. I do teach crochet as well as knitting, so this is useful for that purposes. And if it's a little bit smaller, this would also be great for picking up dropped stitches. This will work if you're using larger yarn, uh, but it's a little bit big for some small projects. I also have a mint in my bag, just in case I need fresh breath or a little burst of sugar. The last thing I have in my knitting bag are actually cable needles, a variety of them. So that's what's in my knitting bag. Let's see how it stacks up against what's in Nicole Lore's knitting bag. A couple other things that she has in her knitting bag that I don't have in mine, I actually do have, just don't keep them in my knitting bag. Uh, not exactly the same, but I do have a leather, leather thimble, and I've had students who have talked about or complained about um, knitting needles really bothering them when they're pushing on them. So I don't know if this would be so helpful for knitting purposes, but I do really like those little woolen uh, or leather thimble like patches and I'm definitely going to recommend it to my students when they bring up having pain from pushing stitches off the needles with their fingers. I also have a pair of embroidery scissors which I do sometimes use when I am knitting but they are very sharp at the end and I tend to worry about them getting caught on my yarn so I opt for my covered scissors and tend to use these when I am at home instead of on the go. I also do not have a pom-pom maker in my knitting bag and I don't actually own one. I haven't used one, but I do have a fork. And this is actually what I use when I teach making pom-poms and what I have used to make my own pom-poms. The last thing that she has that I don't is one version of a needle. She has the a tapestry needle that has a little curve at the end of it. And I have actually been wanting to get one of those and test them out. So guess I know what I'll be picking up soon. I was a little late to the game putting together a little knit bag, but I would definitely recommend having some sort of little bag preferably with a zipper that you can put some of these items into and then you can easily transfer them to different knitting bags or take it from 
your workstation at home to taking it on the go. Are there any tools from Nicole Lore's list or from my list that you want to be adding to yours? Let me know in the comments below. Any suggestions for things that I should add to mine? I'm always open to new ideas and love having new favorites to add to my stash. Whether you have your own knitting bag already or want to use this or some portion of it to make up one, I hope you enjoy having all the supplies you need at your fingertips. And of course, happy knitting!